very often when uh, we build a CNC machine we would li like to have uh, some end stops and that can of course be mechanical switches like uh, micro switches but you can also use uh, proximity switches like uh, this one uh, it's a, this is an NPN type uh, proximity switch it has uh, three connections uh, plus and minus and then the signal out uh, and um, if you get a metal object, if you envision a metal object is approaching, then at a certain distance it will actually flip-flop uh, going uh, from one state to the other. Uh, and the distance uh, depends on the material. So if you have a ferrous material, uh, it can detect f uh, from a further distance than, for example, if you have aluminum. But in all cases, it's uh, capable of detecting a metal approaching. Uh, and we have done some experiments uh, trying to look at the repeatability uh, and it's, uh, I would say, surprisingly high. If we look on a diagram, uh, this is a diagram, we have the uh, power uh, supply here giving out a certain voltage. Uh, these are typically good for between uh, 6 and 36 volts, so you have to have that as an input. So 5 volts is my experience, it's not enough to uh, make it do uh, 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 the good flip-flop. So more than 6 volts uh, input on the brown and the blue and out on the black you will actually get the same voltage uh, when it uh, switches and we can do an experiment in a second. Um, <clears throat> depending on if you go for like the 36 volts uh, you would probably not like to get 36 volts to your breakout board. Very often they have typically between 0 and 5 or maybe max 10 volts uh, as the input uh, uh, voltage. So you may need to put a resistor uh, on here to minimize the uh, voltage coming out and we can do some experiments and see uh, what size of resistor uh, is necessary. Yeah, so just as a first experiment uh, I have uh, 12 volts uh, attached to the plus and to the minus and uh, nothing uh, to the output but if I get something closer to the, uh, the sensor I think you can see that it lits up. Let me zoom, let me zoom in on it. Yeah, so you can see that I'm activating it uh, on and off here. So let's measure measure the uh, the output voltage uh, that we have. Yeah, I think it's uh, it is possible to see uh, that the uh, the voltage now is a 12 volt. Uh, on the output and we are putting in 12 volts uh, and then whenever I get something close to it the voltage uh, drops to zero uh, on the output. Right now you are getting 12 volts uh, out whenever there's no resistor on. So if I wanted uh, at, at this point in time to put on a resistor then I would put it between the black and the blue. I have now connected two uh, wires, one to the blue uh, minus and one to the black uh, signal out and then I can attach um, the resistor between these two. And uh, just as a start let's try to uh, use uh, 10 kilo ohms and see how that works. We have 12 volt out now and then that drops to around 6 volts. So that would be kind of an acceptable output for most breakout boards. So uh, 10 kilo ohms uh, that gives we gives us 6 volts when we have 12 volts power. Now let's increase uh, to uh, 24 volts. around here. Now it goes up to 11 uh, which is I think too much. So if we have 24 volts 
Then let's see what will give us a an acceptable. This is a 4.7 kilo ohm. Yeah, seven five. Let's take one lower. Have a three point three kilo ohm here. That might be right. This one. So uh, three point three kilo would be good, and um, that gives us five point eight. I think this is the max I can go with uh, this, so 26, uh, so if I go back to 24 here, and then I add another 12 for this one down here, around that, so we go down here, and we need Okay, I have increased the uh, voltage to 36 volts now. So we're getting 36 volts out, uh, switching between 36 and 0, so it should. And if we want to get that down to something uh, which is usable, so 36 volts. Um, let's try to see if we can find something. Uh, this is a 2.2 kilo ohm. Um, yeah, not so bad. 2.2 kilo ohms. And this is 2.7, probably going to be too high. Yeah. So for the what I have here, I think the 2.2 is a good choice, giving us what was it, 6. Point something. 6.5 that was 2.2 kilo ohms so what we have now found out that uh, if we have 12 volt power supply you want to get 6 volts plus or minus out 10 kilo ohms if you have a 24 volts power supply you get 6 volts plus or minus out use 3.3 kilo ohms 36 volts getting 6 volts out use 2.2 kilo ohms. Uh, not very rarely, you actually have maybe one uh, proximity switch at one end of your gantry and another at the other and you want to put them in parallel. So essentially you have one which is maybe this could be the back and then a second one uh, sitting uh, at the other end in the front and then you would connect the brown and the blue and the black together so you have pairs of brown, blue and black. Uh, in that case uh, you probably need to change uh, the, the uh, resistors in order to get an acceptable one. So I'll try to unpack a second one and uh, twist the blues together, the browns together and the blacks together and then let's see how that works out. Yeah, okay, so now I have connected in parallel the two proximity switches by connecting brown to brown, blue to blue, and black to black. And uh, you can see that, okay, if I engage this one, it will light up and the uh, voltage uh, goes to zero. And the same over here, light up and goes to zero. So they work and we get the 36 volts out. Uh, last time we used the 2.2 kilo ohms, I can find it again here. And let's see what happens uh, with two proximity switches mounted in parallel. Then you get 11 volts, which is too much. So we need to change the uh, resistor here. And uh, I'll start with trying uh, with this one, which is one kilo ohm. Uh, to see there's approximately half of the value there. And that looks good. So for 30 with two, uh, in parallel, we have uh, one kilo ohm, which is good for 36 volts and gives us six volts out. And then we essentially do the same. We just uh, reduce the uh, the voltage to uh, 24 and see what uh, we get out of that. We just take this one, take it down. 
to the round 12. So we have now 24 balls uh, coming in. And if we look here, approximately one and a half kilo would be my guess. This is the 1.5 kilo ohm. Yeah, and uh, that also looks good. So with 1.5 kilo, 24 volts, we get 5.7 volts out. And then lastly, uh, let's go all the way down to uh, 12 volts as our supply. Around that. And then according to this, we would expect some 4, 5 kilo ohm. We have 4.7 as an option. Uh, let's see how that works. Yeah, that's also good. So 4.7 kilo ohm at 12 volts gives us 6 volt output. Yeah, so here we have the different values that you can use uh, whether you have one proximity or you have two in parallel.